touch light, bump, 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 slack. Touch light, oh good. See right there, just barely touched her, the nose came to the side and came down at the same time. So no reprimand, no, you know, you just give them the slack. I'm Larry Troca. And today I'm gonna to work this two-year-old filly. Um, I'll give you some background on her. Uh, you know, she's, this is probably her 10th ride um, since she's been here. Um, she was started by somebody else. I guess they rode her about four times and then uh, she bucked him off and then they brought, <laughs> then they brought her here. <laughs> And, and of course, you never know the, real, the, the whole story, but, but they felt she was ready to ride and go on with, and in reality, she wasn't, she wasn't even close to being ready to ride. And you know that's nothing against the person that started her. Everybody has their own way. But the key to colt starting, uh, so that you don't teach them things bad, so that they don't learn bad things, is to have control of the colt had the person that started this horse had gotten control of her in the first place, she wouldn't have learned to buck people off. And um, by control, whenever, whenever you start a colt, um, you're re really your only control is the ability to take their head away, okay? And you need to be able to take that head away and pull it around at any time you want to. And if you've conditioned the horse to give to your hands, it's very easy to prevent them from bucking. And it's very easy to prevent them from running away. What happens to a lot of people is they'll ride a horse before he's ready or before they have any control over him. They can't take his head. They'll get on him and the horse gets scared, panics, and then runs away and basically you know, scares the bejesus out of the, out of the colt, then the colt associates fear with being ridden. So you've just taught him something bad. Same thing with the bucking. You know, you can be riding a horse along that really doesn't want to buck, but something spooks him and, you know, scares him. So, some colts, when they get scared, they go to bucking, okay? And here again, if, if they would have put some control on the colt, they could have, as soon as they felt the colt grab himself to start bucking, they could reach down, take his head away, talk the colt out of it and prevent a wreck and prevent the colt from learning how to buck somebody off. You know, once a colt bucks a rider off, you know, once or twice, you know, that what that colt, what enters his mind is um, how easy it is to get the rider off his back, okay? And, and if they learn how easy it is to get a rider off their back, well, anytime you're trying to teach that colt something and it becomes uncomfortable for him, you know, he's going to think, hey, I'm going to get rid of this rider, okay? And so you don't want bad things uh, to, to happen. You don't want to teach your colt bad things by not having him ready to ride. What you got to do is on the ground before you ever get on this horse, you've got to teach him to give his head. And I mean really give his head, okay? And, and they need to give it laterally before they ever learn to give it vertically. But laterally is the most important thing. Now this colt, I can take her head, but she doesn't do it willingly, okay? I mean, she gives it because she knows she has to. And I, I have a German martingale on her. I normally don't put a German martingale on a colt until I've ridden them maybe, you know, 30 to 60 days, but because this one's already learned because she was ridden beforehand and not taught to give her head. She's learned to set her neck, okay, where you can't take her head. So as a precaution, you know, this German martingale allows you to kind of get their head if they want to give it or not, okay, or at least it helps. So I'm riding her with that. I don't want to get bucked off. Now, after her first few rides, she has quit trying to buck me off, which is good. But here again, she's only has, you know, a few rides. It's a long way from being perfect. I need to, her to give her head. When I touch that rein, you know, everything boils down to control. Um, let, me touch, let me touch on that. Any horse, whether it's a colt or an older horse, 
they have to willingly give their head to the rider's hands, be supple and giving. They have to be light about it, which means they willingly do it. Now, a horse doesn't willingly give his head out of the blue. You've got to teach him to willingly give it because they all start like this. You know, they, have, they see no reason to give it. So you got to make the act of not giving their head more uncomfortable than it is to give. You need to make the act of giving comfortable for the horse and the act of being stiff and not giving uncomfortable so that they learn to willingly give their head, okay? And it's the same with any horse, no matter how old he is. If, for, to get any kind of performance out of one, um, whether it's stopping, turning, flying lead changes or whatever, they have to be light, they have to, they have to be flexible and, and giving, and you need to have control of their body parts. Okay? So any horse that we're riding, we're, we're working on those three things, getting them supple, you know, light and supple, um, getting them controllable, getting control of the body parts. If we have all those things, we're on our way to having a, a broke horse, one that you, know, you can do anything with. Okay? So on her ride here, the whole ride is going to consist of working on those three things, suppleness, lightness, and the, getting control of the body parts. So the first thing I'm going to work on is make sure that I can control her if she decides to run away or decides to buck. I want to make sure I have this given the head thing down pat. So I ask lightly, and if she doesn't give it, then I go to bumping her. And I want her to keep walking when I do it. Now she's looking up, looking into that corner. She's worried about that corner. And I'm not going to let her uh, just sit there and stare at it. I want her right here be listening to me right her on the reason why I need her to be going forward when I'm doing this is because I want her to learn to move her hind end in relation to the front end I don't want to be standing at a standstill and then just pull her around and have her kick her butt out and learn to plant her front end and kick her butt out of gear okay keeping them moving while you teach them to give their head, gets the hind track following the front track so that turns and spins become an easy, natural thing to do. Now, I want her to give her head to the side, but I'd like that nose to come down too, and it is. Now, I'm just bumping until she gives it. I ask lightly, then I bump, 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 and as soon as it's there, I give her the slack. The act of being stiff is uncomfortable because I'm bumping, and the act of giving her head lightly is comfortable because that's when she gets the slack. Touch light, she's not giving it, bump, 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 slack. Touch light, bump, 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 slack. Touch light, oh good. See right there, just barely touched her, the nose came to the side and came down at the same time. So no reprimand, no, you know, you just give them the slack. Ask right here, good, 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 good. Walk forward, and that's enough for a schooling session. Now we could either quit right here and get off, or we could go for a trail ride or you know, mess with her or something like that. But the concentrated schooling shouldn't last more than 15, 20 minutes, okay? Any more than that, and you risk sour in your colt. I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you when I upload a new video. Leave your comments and questions in the comment section below the video. Oh, and don't forget to go to my website and get that free membership. It'll give you access to all kinds of good stuff. I mean, you'll learn a bunch. I'll have a link to it down below also. Okay, that's all for now. Take care.